What is up ladies and gentlemen, many here, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to make a quick little video uh, documenting my progress on the parallels basically. The footage you're gonna see is from a session, a pretty good session actually that I had recently. And yeah, so I'm simply gonna try to comment a few of the exercises I did and you know, give yourself a little bit of, give, give you hopefully uh, a little bit of motivation for your own parallels progression or I don't know give yours give you a little bit motivation to start training on the parallels actually because it's such an amazing training tool I think you know it's very um, transportable so you can basically bring it anywhere where you have a more or less flat ground and this is where you this way you can avoid the shady dark gyms you know and get out into a sunny meadow like this you know get some vitamin d going as you can see in certain parts of austria it's already quite warm um the spring is definitely coming uh so yeah i'm actually quite psyched for the upcoming outdoor climbing that we are hopefully gonna do but anyway, I started this uh, session as always when I start my training sessions with my mobilizing routine, um, the one I showed you in the um, video that came out before this one. And then I actually already started to warm up specifically for the parallel exercises. And what's that going to look like? Um, super basic exercise. You're going to get down on the parallel, straight arms, straight legs and simply try to lift off your feet lean forward and try to lift off your feet from the ground and this is also i think if you want to get into things like the schweizer handstand i think it's called in german i don't know how it's called exactly in english but if you want to get into things like that then this is gonna be your first beginner exercise and looks pretty simple and pretty easy actually but you're gonna be surprised. Uh, when I was a beginner, I was surprised as well. It's so hard at the beginning. It feels like the muscles to do it are actually already there, but your brain doesn't really know how to interact with them, you know? So <clears throat> this is actually a pretty nice exercise, I think. Straight arms, straight legs, and simply try to lift off your feet. Now, you're gonna, because the muscles are, are already there, at least I think that is, it is like that, you're gonna progress really quickly when you try this. So after like, I don't know, two weeks or so, I had enough strength in my delts and in my back that um, I was actually able to lift off my feet off the ground uh, quite solidly. Quite <laughs> solidly. And once you can do that, you can basically move on to the next exercise, which is the Schweizer Handstand itself. It's simply, you need, you're gonna need a little bit more endurance and a little bit more strength in your delts and your back and all that good stuff, your triceps, so that you can stay in this position for a long enough time to lift your, your legs up and get into the proper handstand. Once you're in the handstand, of course, it's also quite important to be as straight as possible, um, which is one of my greatest weaknesses when I do the handstand. I think I got better in it, but I'm still not perfect. Um, as you can see it here in the side view, um, I'm a little bit tucked in the shoulders still. I think I would have to move my head even more in between my arms and yeah, actually look uh, look behind me, so to say. But yeah, that's actually not that not that easy for me. It makes a really big difference if you do it a little bit sloppy, you know, or if you do it perfectly. It's a lot harder when you do it perfectly. So here, one more time, um, in the double camera view, of course, I'm making advantage of the fact that I have two cameras now here again in this video. Simply lean forward, straight arms, straight legs, and then tuck your legs for a short time. Try to lift them up, lift your ass up as well, and then straighten them out to get into the handstand. So once you can do this quite solidly, the next um, challenge, for me at least, was to go there from the L-sit. I think if you've seen my recent videos in one of the Siurana trip videos, I I showed you some pre-roll footage of parallel sessions where I tried the L-sit into handstand. I still wasn't able to do it back then. So like two weeks ago or something, I still wasn't able to do it. Now I am able to do it quite solidly. 
as you can see here um, yeah pretty cool exercise it's a lot more difficult than going into the Schweizer Handstand alone I think because you have to hold the tension for such a much longer time and also you have to hold it stronger you know because you have to lift your whole body up from the level of the ground basically and here I already was quite straight in the handstand as well and I was actually quite happy that I did it uh, here so solidly and I decided to simply try it as often as I would be able to do it. Now here we can see it a little bit in slow-mo and pay attention to a little trick that I'm using here. Once I'm moving my legs in between my arms, I'm gonna tuck them and then I'm gonna straighten them out here a little bit again because this is gonna make it easier to lift my ass up. And only once my ass is up, I'm tucking them again and move the legs up as well. And as you can see, during this whole time, you have to hold the tension in your shoulders. You are a little bit tucked in your shoulders here to hold the balance. And that's what's actually so hard about the exercise. Now, once you got your legs in this position, it's actually almost over. You know, it's almost like going there from the handstand from the ground. Uh, yeah, and then again, straighten the legs up as much as possible. Um, I said already in one, I think it was the Correcting Climbers Back video that all of these parallel exercises, they are actually really good for Climbers Back. And I think this is because they are of such a corrective nature when it comes to climbing, you know. Um, it's all about pushing, basically. It's a lot of triceps, it's a lot of delts and not so much and actually not at all about pulling which is all the climbing stuff so when you do this a couple of times you really have the feeling that this is going to lift you up in this attempt i tried to spread out my legs a little bit to test if that's easier it's i had the feeling that if you can do it right if you have the flexibility to have your st legs straight all the all the way through basically then it would be a little bit easier. But if you're coming out of the L sit and let your legs straight all the time, then it's actually pretty tough when it comes to flexibility. So I am not able to do it still. I think here we have it uh, in the time lapse view a little bit. And here you can see um, how I'm trying to become more and more straight in my handstand once I am up there. So yeah, like here you can see it, how my head moves more and more in between my hands. I'm trying to be as straight as possible, but I still have to improve here a little bit. It's not perfect still. Um, here we have another attempt. Uh, and I think the special thing about this attempt is that when I'm going down, I'm actually doing something that could be the next challenge, which is going into the plank from the handstand. Like going again to the front a little bit with your head and then, you know, going down into the plank before you actually fall down. I think here we have it one more time in slow-mo. As you can see here, I'm not going down immediately. I'm moving my head up again and into the front again, basically, and trying to hold this position here a little bit. But it's really hard if you wear in the handstand for a very long time, you know. And I think this was the attempt where I failed for the first time to get into the full handstand out of the L sit. So I decided to um, move on to the next exercise, basically, which is the plank itself. Now, I had the impression that there are two possibilities how you can uh, move in, how you can basically try to move into the plank from the from the standing position. And once is one is you have to rest your knees on your elbows try to be as straight with your arms as possible during all during the whole time basically and then simply lean forward as much as possible as much tension in your shoulders and upper body as possible and lift your legs up and try to straighten them out in the process you know and also it's going to be a lot easier if you spread them out from the beginning so um yeah, just in case you're trying it, you're trying it straight from the beginning. Um, that's a lot harder. You get, you will get a lot more leverage onto your shoulders. So for beginners like myself in this exercise, I would recommend spreading the legs out. And also a soft ground is gonna help a lot because it's gonna allow you to drop your head on the ground once you're, uh, once you're losing the tension. Basically, once you're. I'm getting too weak to hold it. Now the second opportunity or option that you have, I think, to go into, into the plank is starting with straight legs and spread out right away. 
and this is actually going to I think it's actually the better approach because it's it gives you a better feeling how the end position is gonna feel like you know and it's also gonna allow you to put your shoulder shoulders under full tension right away from the beginning so yeah super cool exercise I think and this really burns in the shoulders you know you're gonna have a lot of muscle ache in the shoulders again and that means you're gonna improve so yeah it feels actually pretty great it's, it's getting better and better every session you know so um, motivating because you know when it comes to climbing specific training like finger strength and other stuff i feel like i have kind of a plateau at the moment again and uh, it's good to have something um, which you can progress quite quickly you know here one more shot of the final handstand that i did for cooling down basically and that was my parallel session um, i hope you get inspired to try uh, the parallels as well hope you liked the video drop some likes and opinions if you did and i hope i'll see you guys soon in the next one bye